what happens if the medication you and your physician decide you should take is not even listed on the formulary? Is there something that a patient can do? Yes. So first, don't panic. Um, if it's not on the formulary, it doesn't mean that it will not be covered by the insurance company. But what it does mean is that you will have to ask your doctor to call up your insurance company and request that this go through the prior authorization process, as we talked about earlier. So if your doctor is able to show that there is a legitimate request, your insurance company may actually cover it. So it's really important to take these steps. Great. So it seems like understanding how to use uh, and also talking to your doctor about prior authorization could help you get access to treatment that might not otherwise be possible. Exactly. That is where persistence comes in again. Um, when it comes to a prior authorization, I'd like to note that if something is denied, you can always appeal. A great example of this um, comes from one of our other patient advocates that got denied for treatment and had to request an appeal. Otherwise, um, some folks may know it as a peer-to-peer -peer, so that her treatment could continue. But if she had not been involved, she would not have had the treatment or potentially faced extended delays in her treatment um, that were initially denied. So it's really important.